I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. Hello there, my name is Beast, and welcome back to Elden Ring. We are heading to that church, which we passed by the other day. Uh, the reason we're coming back to it now is because... For one... We're a lot stronger. And two... We actually have a good set of armor now. Uh, the set of armor we have is the Banished Knights. Uh, I have the whole set, but we don't have enough... Equip load to make it so we're not uh, fat rolling. So we wear the Godric's arms and the Traveler's hat. Uh, also got this off the Deathbird that was on this thing. So at nighttime, uh, a giant bird that will pop down here and try and kill you. Uh, it's not that. It's not that difficult. If you have range, use it. Otherwise, you may have some trouble. Also, we are fairly leveled up. Uh, our health and magic now currently exceeds what our flasks can regenerate. Yep. We got a fight. Dodge that. There we go. Can't dance forever. Eventually you're gonna get hit. Uh, so when we get invaded and we're offline, those are scripted events. Uh, typically, there's some sort of relevance to the character that pops in and where they're at. That one was a Tarnished Eater. So it sounds like they're a hunter of tarnished people, so. Oh, hello. Missionary cookbook. Okay. And. Get this up. Well, uh, they gave us the medallion. So the blue feather brooch raises our defense when our HP is low, which is actually really nice. Raises holy attack, but no. There are versions of this medallion that do various things, like one will raise like magic damage, but lowers it as well. Your damage negation, but it's damage negation, negation for everything. So you gotta be careful. Now we were not. We don't need to mess with that. So we have no story here. It puts that on the map. Oh, and I found the map here, which is next to this merchant and the Cathedral of the Dragon we've been to. And this leads to uh, Castle Redmain, which I haven't been to yet. This one I stumbled upon by accident, just running around. I was being chased by the giant head dogs in this area and they suck. Uh, this is where I farmed for the gear. There's two uh, banished knights. One that's at the entrance to this cathedral and the other one's off to the side of the cliff over here somewhere. He's just around like a little outcropping. But they're fine. They have a chance to drop 
their weapon as well, which we have, but I'm not too sure how good that's going to be. Alright, so we did that. We should do... Oh, we should mark you so we can get this map and see what's out here. So we went to the third church of America. Couldn't remember the name of it. Uh, Queen America the Eternal. So if you want additional mixing options for your wonderful physic, uh, you need to look for these giant trees. These giant trees are minor herd trees and they have a well, sometimes they'll have guardians that are basically bosses. Oh, I guess, yeah, bosses would probably be the best word for them. That you need to fight, and if you defeat them, you gain a good amount of runes and the mixture components. So, it's kind of worth it. So, that's not the castle we're looking for for, for Highgate. High gate, excuse me. Uh, that's someone else. Ah, oh, that's right. There's fucking bears everywhere. Uh, bears are bad. The reason bears are bad is because they have a high damage resistance. And if you can't one-shot them, you're better off running from them because of their... We're on the wrong side. Uh, because they are bastards. I'm gonna be on this side. Uh, we're gonna be in here for two reasons. One is for this thing, which is a passage to the underworld. Uh, not like death, but the world beneath us. So that's a whole nother area we get to explore. Eh, minor herd tree. Here we go. Uh, I think you give health. Yeah. Alright, so you give both back. We don't care about you. This one, since it's the first one we're meeting... Oh. Let's get the sunflowers. Uh, they don't force you to have to do a mini boss battle or a boss battle. Instead, you just just pick it up. So that was uh, equipment uh, inventory. So that one gives you stamina and your charge attacks go up. Also, I went and cleared out a lot of the merchants so that we have so that we can use a lot of our money. You are a skill, I think. Alright. Ground slam. Now I oh, Oh, that's right. There's an ambush here. So that if you run through here and you, you're not paying attention, you're like, hey, there's loot down there. It's guarded loot. Guarded by goblins. I think that's what they're called. I don't remember. But we drop down. Club. Wonderful. Then these bones. Now we're going to hopefully not attract that guy's attention. Uh, he dropped... Oh, that in front of them is... I forget. But we want this for our map. Membrane East. So we can do... What I'm about to do, and it's... Fairly effective. You run in, grab it, and run away. And... 
he's angry with us, but we are far enough away that he can basically fuck off. If he doesn't smack us with his roar. His roar is deadly. And when I say deadly, I mean deadly. If he catches you with it, you will get knocked off your horse if he hits you directly. He glanced us, so we didn't take the full force of the attack. Okay, this is for a merchant who's up here. Ah, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way. Make right sure we're not this way. Followed. All right. Welcome, valued cast. Please, I'm hungry. Yeah, what do you have? You have a shield. I'll buy that. Yes. Uh, buy all of those as well. Hand axe. I mean, we're not really using it. Oh, and sleep in this game, the sleep buildup is incredibly powerful. Uh, so that does like 96% sleep buildup. So if you hit them with two arrows, you can cause them to fall asleep. Them being basically anybody, you hit with it. Uh, okay. So apparently we can buy infinite arrows. Good to know. Can I sell you something that we don't need? Slightly heavier. One point five, and the damage is better to go up as well. So that's actually probably better to have. And does it put us in heavy? Oh, it does. That one point five puts us in heavy, in a heavy fighting stance. Damn. Okay. We have to upgrade our stamina a little bit more. Uh, so this is our map. Now the map also will show you kind of places of interest. Like here's the elevator to go down. Get the Erd tree, obviously. And then you see like, oh, there's this things over here we should investigate. And this castle. Uh, this castle is a misdirect, I think. I'm pretty sure this is a misdirect that... I, is this his... I don't think this is... Because he... Uh, Lord Kenneth Highgate Hy 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 wants us to go and retake his fort. No, that is his fort. This is... Okay, that is... A, I just remembered... Ah, bear. Which fort it was that we were looking at. Uh, there should be a side of grace over here. So we need to do two things. One, we're going to clear out this fort. Uh, two, no, we got to mix our wonderful whatever it is. Well, technically three, I guess. So this one. Uh, sure. So that's one of the two of the three things. Two, there's a big fuck off bear that's here. But we want to be careful. And see if we can get his loot. Without having to fight him. Now that's a very, very, very tall order. Uh, typically we have to fight him. But then again. 
there's not much we can do about that. Good, he's not blocking it. Usually he sleeps directly on this, so you cannot get inside it, which isn't fun. Okay. Uh, not a mimic. Now chests, they can be a mimic or they can be trapped. If they're trapped, smoke will come out. If smoke comes out, just roll away and you'll be safe. Or be caught, whichever. I'm not the boss of you. This one, the Axe Talisman, which does, what again? It's real. I always check just in case. Axe Talisman does, Enhances charge attacks. All right. So if you combine that with the wondrous physics we got, your charge attacks can do incredible amounts of damage. All right. So this bear, you can actually cheese kind of easily if you have magic. Because you can just stay in here, stay about here, and just pepper him with spells until he dies. You do have to watch out that you don't get too close because his attacks can glitch through the world. So we keep hearing this wolf howl, but it doesn't sound like a wolf, which is concerning and interesting. So what we're going to do is we're talking to our wonderful traveling merchant here and see if he knows anything about it. Uh, hello. How nice, please. Uh, are you gonna... If I buy something, will you tell me about it? No? What if I give you some... Ah, how nice of you, please. No? Okay. So he'll tell us about the, uh, I think this is the guy, he'll tell us about the, the howling, and he'll give us a gesture that we can do to see who's actually howling. Uh, uh, ghosts give you hints about where to go and what you could potentially do. Like that one's just telling you, hey, this place over here is cool. Go investigate. Right, so they're fighting each other. We want to come up here because there's a ballista on the roof. Ballista on the roof. La 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 la. Oh! see you there. You blended in so well. You can't reach me up here, so... He had a great shield, which is what that big shield's called. And... They have a chance to drop it, so... We're getting shot. Oh, you're a bastard, aren't you? Nope. Good try. Are you gonna drop your... No, Lord's, Lord's Worth Bolt. Horse. 
horse combat is very, very cool. Now you want me, you're gonna have to chase me down. And in some ways, horse combat is broken, so... Pumpkin head down. They don't drop really good loot. Hey! Golden seed. Uh, we can upgrade our flasks again. I think. Is there anything of value around here? Probably not. Yeah, no. Okay. I'm just picking those up because there's no reason not to. And more importantly, we might need them later. We probably won't, but you never know. So once again, this line, this fog, means the horse cannot come inside. Which is fine. I can do that too. Oh. How far away are you? Not far enough. All right, so. You need to be careful. The reason why is rats. Giant fuck off rats. Like this motherfucker. Now those are the small ones. Oh, Blood Rose. But that's also not the one we're interested in. Where are you? Are you behind the boxes? No? Alright. I thought they were. Or am I thinking about the... Oh, these barrels also also explode, so careful with that. If you hit him with fire, that is. Running into him does nothing. Hello. Ah! Yeah, the rats aren't difficult. They're just slightly annoying. But they are dangerous and large. Uh oh, look who got themselves stuck. We don't. <laughs> you fucker. I knew there was one some. Oh, come on, camera. There we go. Knew there was sun somewhere. Just didn't remember where. Okay. Up one more. Oh, come on. Let's 
Soldier Gauntlets. No, I didn't want to do that. Shit. So now we have no healing. Great. The reason I say great is because there's a... Not really a boss. More of an annoyance up ahead. That guy. He's a proper knight, not a foot soldier. And you can see that he blocks a lot of damage. Oh. But his Ashes of War are very, very good. Did that. Cleared this. Alright. Now, I think up here? Isn't there? I don't recall what's up here. Well, we're gonna find out in a second. Also, we need to buy a torch. It's too dark. Okay, Mimic? No. What are you? Oh, Dactus Medallion. Okay. So... There is... Another half of this medallion that we need to find to activate a lift. That takes us to the third area of the game, basically. And there are two more uh, medallion uh, pieces of a medallion that you can get that leads you to an optional boss. Which we'll probably end up finding those, but. I don't know if we'll do the optional boss, I'll be honest with you. Optional bosses, they're not incredibly hard, they're just more vaguely annoying. Like the Lord, is it the Lich Dragon Froxus, whatever his name is? Yeah, he's annoying. Uh well. He is not just annoying by himself. He's annoying because of how you get to him. You have to watch like two or three cutscenes just to get to him. That is annoying. Beyond that, it's not terribly difficult. You just have to be ready to roll. Which sounds slightly weird, but is... Very true. Flasks, we're gonna add a charge. Okay, flasks three to four, that's fine for now. I don't think we'll need to really mess with it too much. Uh, over there, we're gonna look and see if there's any uh, dungeons. Because I don't remember if there is, and on the map, sometimes there'll be like a dungeon hidden along the crevices here. Most likely there's not, because we'd typically be able to see the hole from here. Alright, let's see if... Uh, Kenneth himself has come back yet or not. So we need to get in here. Uh, all the enemies have died. Or are still dead, excuse me. And... No. Alright, so we gotta go tell him that this place has been cleared out. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, well, first we're going to search the wall. 
then we'll see. It's a dead end, okay. Let's check down here. Nothing. Nothing over there. We can leave that monster be. And you don't have to kill stuff. It's completely optional for most enemies if you want to fight them or not. You don't have to fight them, fight animals. Still chasing me? Yeah, they are. There we go. Okay, I don't see an opening there. Uh, little places like that graveyard are decent places to find little room piece, uh, chunks of rooms that you can break. They're not great for farming, but they're fine. If you come across them, just to swing by and pick them up. Okay. Alright, that leads to another castle. That leads to a castle itself, not a fort. So let's go this way, back around. Uh, those you can try and jump up. I've not had success doing it though. Uh, in success, I mean making it up without dying. Because normally I do. Uh, also, making it down without dying is surprisingly hard as well. Uh, precision falling in this is not done well. Uh, these are spirit jumps. You just gotta jump inside. Yep. On it and hold A, you jump up, and you can kind of aim where you want to go. Really, really useful to get around and escape enemies. Uh, if you are needing to get down, you can jump, and as long as you have this little whirlwind around you, when you land, you'll be safe. You just have to be somewhat near. Uh, the whirlwind of the spirit jump itself. Otherwise, you kill yourself. All right, I don't think there's. Well, we're almost done with the, our loop. Hello, bear. Bear with me, will you? Uh. Okay, sorry. No, nothing here. Damn, okay. Uh, we're out of the misty fog, and this leads back up to... here. No, nothing. Okay. That is unfortunate. Not unheard of. Ah, you did a trap. Can I get the reward for it? I do not want to. There we go. Y'all no, have fun. I'm going this way. Because we got to see a man about a fort. Let him know that we cleared it out. Oh, they're fighting each other. Okay. So our, our runes went up. So I was like, okay. That only happens when they fight. Kenneth. Kenneth, my lord. The rightful heir of Limgrave. I am here to inform you. Your fort is cleared. Uh, bad news though, everyone's dead. Ah, I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? 
Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. It's gonna be great. It has to be, right? Bird still dagger. Okay. Why do I get the feeling that that's trash? 67. Fuck me, that's horrible. It has quick step on it, though. Uh, with the glass crest engraved upon its blade, carried by the Erd Tree Royalty for self defense in times of peace. Uh huh. High standards, it's difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, if typically stuff that has Erd Tree in the name is faith bound or faith affected. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to reestablish communication with the demi humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd Tree, co mingling with the demi humans is made possible. Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Oh, I will. I'll watch it with bated breath, sir. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask, would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Alright, so this... Let me put it this way. Uh, spoiler for his whole quest line. Uh, this doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. You can join as many and pledge as many loyalties as you want. It doesn't matter. Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold the ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Oh, we got the f f raining of the petals. All right, so he said to go to his fort, or he's going to be waiting at his fort, so let's try this again. See if he is actually here this time. I forgot that we have to go talk to him, let him know, hey, it's all done before we can progress his storyline. Oh, what are you doing here? If I remember right, the eyes mean that they're possessed. Is it possessed or they're enraged? If they have glowing uh, golden eyes, that means they are worth ten time, uh, five times their normal amount of runes. They drop a lot of shit, by the way. Just trash. Most of the time, it's not worth picking up. My lord, I'm here. Ah, you, is it? Uh, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found, with haste, and not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. What does that mean? I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, 
But I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great but... Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. So you're not gonna ignite us. Thanks. I must begin my search for a true Alright, so his quest basically stops here until so we meet another character down the line and help them progress their quest. Uh, which we'll meet I think at Stormdale Castle if I remember correctly. Uh, but that's gonna knock out most of this area or, or this Limgrave West. Actually, let's check on this real quick while we're here. Uh, I was, was going to try to jump off and summon the horse, but this isn't this isn't destiny. You can't just jump off and summon the spirit. Ah, uh, before we do that, let's, let's talk with our merchant friend real quick. Then we'll head out there. Please. Nope, doesn't care. Okay, good. Uh, that's a message to go to the merchant we don't care about. We're looking for the super jump. Which is... There it is. So you have a dash, and then you just have a, a gallop that you can do. The sprint is done by tapping B. If you hold B, you do a gallop instead. The gallop is much more useful long term. The sprint's good to get away from enemies. Hello. Oh, you're going to shoot lightning, aren't you? Yep. Uh, try and poison us. No, thank you. Uh, if you are to hit their... Uh, when they're glowing, they have a spot where it looks like they're leaking out gold. That is a weak point that you should try to hit. And if you hit it with your melee weapon, you essentially get a free critical. Uh, these flowers, they always deal st a status effect to you, whether it's poison, or scarlet rot, or anything else, it's basically not good. Let's see if we can do this with Torrent this way. that way. Okay. Try it again. Uh, a lot of times, if you're trying to get somewhere on the horse, getting off and getting back on is a better way than you might think. Just make sure you give yourself enough space to get off the horse. Otherwise, that happens. But we have good upsies, so it's all good. Oh, uh, Trina's Lily. That's nice. Can we fall and not take damage? Yeah, there we go. Now we came here because we want what's inside this. Ooh, we got a boss gate. Okay. We're going to 
gonna summon our wolfies and then we're just gonna lay into this wonderful beast. Move. Oh yeah, we, we got this. So you can tell we are fairly overpowered for some of this stuff. Oh, did we not get... Okay, we got some XP for it. Uh, first things first, let's touch Grace. Oh, a door. How did I not see you? God, Selena, right? Tarnished, are we? I wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Oh, to, uh, to learn sorcery? I mean, master, teach me. Ah, a yen for glinstone sorceries. Well, your aptitude does appear... passable. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria as a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Absolutely. Alright, so Glenstone Pebble, we already have. So if you don't know if you have it or not, if you look up where it says Glenstone Pebble, then it says Sorcery over it in the center of the screen. Then it says Number Held, 1 of 99. That means we have one of them already. If we go over to Glenstone Stars, it says 0 of 99. That means we have none of this one. We don't have this one. Uh, that's kind of fine. That's basically a... If I remember, you hold it down and it fires continuously. This one's not bad. We have that. <gasps> yeah. Because we don't have it in our inventory, it says it's in stored instead. So it says number held zero, stored one. You want to pay attention if you don't know whether or not you have it or not. So we'll buy that. Then I'll grind for these other two and buy those off screen. Oh, thoughts. Right. Young apprentice, first things first. You are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Infantile. Without the legs to walk. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Now, shall we start learning? I remember running into her before. I just don't remember where it was. And apparently it's here. Holy shit. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we'll pick it back up next time when we uh, continue to uh, mess around a bit. Uh, also, you can mess with the order of your spells, and that's how they'll appear in your quick bar. So, like, now we have Glintstone Pebble... Glintstone Stars and Roxling in that order. So if you have something that's more useful, you may want it up front or near each other. Especially if you're setting up for a special. So the stars look like this. Which is actually kind of nice. Because they'll track their targets as well. Uh, there's one that we can potentially get later, but it takes a bit of questing to get. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.